Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. I think we got a great video for you today. Now, have you ever wondered what would happen if you removed the paint from your darts? Now, a lot of you guys know I'm not a fan of painted darts whatsoever. I think it makes the dart look kind of cheap. Now, going back a couple days ago, I reviewed the Perling London darts. There they are stuck in the nine segment. And uh, actually, it's a hell of a deal for these darts. $32 on sale or on clearance at Darts Corner. I'll actually have the link for those down in the pinned comment. But a little bit closer look there, if you'll notice, they have 14 painted multi-rings running along the length of the barrel. Now, personally, I mean, I just don't think it looks all that great. So what would happen if we remove the paint? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this 100% acetone. It's a nail polish remover, and it should take the paint off fairly easily. I'm going to soak them for probably five to ten minutes, and use a toothbrush to get off the excess paint. Now, once I do that, if I took them to the board, is it going to improve the grip? Is it going to make the darts more slippery? Well, we're about to find out, and I'm not really sure how this video is going to unfold yet. But what I'm going to do, I'll give you guys one last close-up look at these darts. I'll remove the paint. We'll take another look at them, and then straight to the board we go for some feedback on what I think of these now unpainted darts. So, here we go. Oh, hit my knee. Okay, here we go. One last look at the Perling London darts with the paint. And if you notice here, 14 painted rings running the length of the barrel. And when I did the review on these a couple days ago, which you can feel free to check out that video, I gave these things a rating, a grip rating of a level two and a half grip on a scale of one to five. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give these a soak in 100% acetone. I'm going to add some Trident 180 nose cones. I'm going to put on my stems and flights. And we'll be back, and I'll take these things to the board and give you some feedback if I notice any huge differences between painted and non-painted darts. So, here we go. Okay, one last close-up look there. This is before, and now, with the magic of the internet and editing, let's go to the after. Here we go. Well, I figured I might as well show you the paint removal process. Right here I have this 100% acetone nail polish remover, and I just filled this up here, and that's all I'm doing, just soaking these darts. And hopefully within the next 10 minutes, the paint will pretty much remove itself. And if there's any leftover, I'll just use a toothbrush and get off the excess. But here we go. Now I'm playing the waiting game, and we'll be back here in just a second. A few moments later. Wow, look at that. I wish I would have done a time-lapse video here because the paint is literally just falling out of the grooves here. So that's good news because the paint will remove very easily from these darts. And in some cases, the darts are a little bit stubborn if the rings are very small. Oh, there's a piece. Look at that. It just fell right off. But yeah, we'll be back here in just a second. And there we go. Wow, what do you guys think of that? Give me your honest opinion down in the comment section. But man, I think that looks incredible in the natural tungsten. And you know, probably the easiest darts that I've ever removed paint from, the paint just fell off within about a span of five minutes. So yeah, couldn't have gone any easier there. But I've added these Trident 180 nose cones, and I've added my Cosmo Stem and Flight setup. So we're about to get these things on the board. And I'll give you some feedback on what I think of these now natural tungsten Perling London darts. But let's get a real quick close-up before we do that. Okay, nice little close-up look there at the now natural tungsten Perling London darts. You know, just an amazing deal for 32 US dollars. You can't really beat it. But you guys probably want to know how these things feel now. So let me get them on the board. I'll give you some feedback and see if there's any difference whatsoever. Here we go. Okay, guys, I just had about a five-minute warm-up with the now paint-removed Perling London darts. Day and night difference. Honest to God, it's, it's not really that drastic where these things just became ungodly grippy. It's a straight-barrel multi-ring dart. It's not going to be that grippy anyway, but the grip level has definitely improved. I'd give this an easy level three grip on a scale of one to five, whereas the, when the paint was on, about a two and a half grip on a scale of one to five. You know, it just feels like I have a little bit more control over these darts now like I can feel I can feel the multi rings now whereas before the the dart felt a little bit smooth so you can certainly feel the edges on the rings running along the barrel now just a little bit more bite to them oh, that damn five always gets me <clears throat> Yeah, I would say right now, if you're playing with painted darts, it might be worth it to remove that paint. That's just a personal opinion. I'm Generally, I'm not a fan of painted darts at all. And other than feeling a little more grippy, 
I think these things look 100% better now. I mean, uh, again, that's just a personal opinion, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Oh, 170. <laughs> yeah, they're throwing just as nice as ever and uh, ever so slightly more grippy. But as always, guys, you know I've got one more clip for you. So hope you enjoy it. Here we go. That is a no paint, 180, 60, 60, Ooh. and it sticks in the board really well with these black points. Well, there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different, but uh, let me know in the comment section, paint or no paint. As always, guys, we will see you on the next video. Later.